With malaria, we're talking about hundreds of millions of people, uh, of cases of malaria, nearly half a million dead people, most of them kids, by the way. Um, most of them, over 90% in Africa. And uh, well, there is a big budget. So all of this is, although we have a huge budget, that uh, now let's see how we get, how we got into it, how we, okay? So um, this is, although we use all kinds of sprays, we just heard about a few, but there is endless. Repellents, traps, attracting kill, nets, sterile mosquitoes, SIT, what we call here, and natural enemies. So it's a long list, and I'm not talking about the AI and all this, but this is just the control. And uh, as a matter of fact, not long ago, I was a farmer, and I had exactly the same problem, not with dead people, but with something that um, my own farms, that I used to spray a lot and put traps and whatever, it didn't work, uh, or not good enough, let's say it this way. So this is, this is the, the, the bottom line. All have failed, otherwise we wouldn't be here. And we, didn't, we wouldn't see the, the terrible numbers before. And this is over tens of years. It's not one or two bad years. Um, so this is my conclusion as one that is not in this field. Uh, it's time for a new concept what we saw before is def uh, several concepts of control uh, for, mo for mosquito control. So let's look at this and uh, you see the characteristics and here we have the target and you need to guess what pest we are talking about here, okay? So the target is zero cases and uh, the life expectancy is between weeks Two months, whoever knows, just you can shout it. Um, generations, we have several generation, generations a year. Uh, activity is year around. Um, generation time is two to four weeks. Any guess, by the way, by now? No? What is the best? Um, uh, reproduction is hundreds of uh, eggs per female many hosts, uh, the ability to protect the host is very difficult. Uh, flight is kilometers, even tens of kilometers. And um, feeding is on flower nectar and the uh, odor, the, 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 the pest the insect is very sensitive. What? Yes, and, and, and the, control, the control is a big list of spraying, repellent, traps, attracting kill, nets, SAT, natural enemies. So do you want to guess what pest I'm talking about here? Anyone? Anyone? No guess? What? Zuvehol. Zuvehol? Could be. Uh, sandfly? Anything else? Mosquito? Okay. So, actually, I'm talking about fruit flies. This is fruit flies. I actually did it. And this is what my company is dealing with for, and I'm dealing with uh, for the past 25 years. But you know what? You are not wrong because it, the same is mosquito. The same. And this is what makes it, you see, mosquito and fruit flies is uh, nearly the same in all those characteristics. Um, so fruit flies is a perfect model. And, and not only this, actually it is harder because fruits are always outside. You cannot cover the, the walls with poison. And farmers, furthermore, they can spray whatever they like. No one is there to, to say no. So if you want a great model, that is a great model. That is a fruit fly. Actually, this is the number one fruit fly pest in the world. It's called Bactrocera dorsalis. The infestation, the average is 50%, which is huge. 
and uh, it's all over Asia, Africa. Uh, by the way, it took it only 13 years, 13, one, three years from Asia to get all over Africa. Uh, there is no export or very little export from Africa and Asia, which is only 4 billion people, to Europe, America, Australia, and so on. So, sounds familiar, right? From Mosquito, 100 years of effort, uh, but it's not effective. Infestation between 30 to 100 percent. This is Bactrocera dorsalis, not mosquitoes, the same. This is from last week, I was in Africa. And after I gave a seminar, I asked the, the farmers to fill up a questionnaire. You can see what they wrote. They have two seasons. Infestation between 30 to 70 percent, 50 to 70, 80 to 100. This is just a sample of the situation today. No solution. Number one test. And this is what happened when Biofit brought a solution. Again, this is the average with control with sprays, traps, and this is with our solution, which is called Freedom. It's a big difference. This is export quality. Export quality, it means no infestation is allowed in a boat. Nothing, zero. Very much like what we would like to have with mosquitoes. And it's all based on smells, okay? The technology is called GCFR. And by the way, when we first made it outside Israel for this pest, it was in India. And a uh, short while after I had uh, the, the pleasure of meeting the two prime ministers in the first meeting here in Tel Aviv uh, two years ago. And this is where I presented. And actually it was the Indian side that asked for <coughs> the meeting. And this is last year when we launched the product for fruit flies in Africa. Um, so, just to sum, yes, sum up, today when we want to develop a new solution, most of it is insecticides. It is going to cost us probably around $300 million and it will take us around 20 years for a new pesticide. If we want something else, more or less you have the numbers. So it's a very long time, cost a lot of money, and as we know, no one really wants sprays, chemicals of any kind, any sort, and this is what we have, a bottle of poison. We can say it is green, it is not, it's not. So the timeline is not good for us, and the, the cost is not good for us. Actually, what we were looking for is something that will take far less time and money. And this is what GCFR is. Extremely short time to develop a new solution and the price is the same. Now, just to see that I'm not just talking. So this is the timeline. It took us many years to develop the te technology, but once we manage, after we finish the first two, which are in Israel, those, no one has a solution for them, even with sprays. No one for this one, Bactrocera zonata, which came to, to us from Asia. Bactrocera dorsalis is the number one in the world. No one has a solution. You, you are welcome to Google. Serratitis cosiera uh, in Africa. So actually we stopped the, the R&D because we were doing too much. And Dotan here, uh, our business uh, manager, is simply not able to sell enough. So we had to stop. But this is show, it shows you it is possible. Everything that just until recently, it was said it is impossible. So just to say, we are not, I am not an expert for mosquitoes, but I do believe that a new approach needs to be taken. And uh, GCFR is probably the approach. And by the way, about the fruit flies in Africa, 13 years ago, when an Israeli expert from the Ministry of Agriculture back, came back to Israel and said to me, they have a huge problem. 
I said, yes, but it takes time and a budget and so on. Well, they had to wait 13 years until we got there, also with the support of Israel, uh, and now they do it. So I hope malaria wouldn't have a problem like this of 13 years. Thank you.